the coming water crisis from an occult point of view. During the magic in questions and answers session, you explained in detail what happens with air and the informational current using the example of the virus. What does the recently prophesied reduction of water resources mean? And what do we need to prepare for? In this case, it's a consequence of the same thing. It's not that there will be less water, it's that there will be less water available for consumption. If the air is polluted, then after a while the water will be polluted as well. In a physical sense and in a metaphysical sense, in every sense. The virus has been found in the air, a bacterium or something else will be found in the water that would make the water unfit for consumption. What do we need to prepare for, on the physical plane? Make sure you have your own source of drinking water. This is crucial because man cannot live without water. Urban conditions will not provide such a resource. So you should have your own personal water source, private spring, well or something like that. But that's on the physical plane. On the energy informational plane, it may indicate that a massive flood of lies and disinformation would pollute the future. Maybe the world needs to be completely poisoned to clear the air. And maybe that is why all the disasters in the world are happening. We must prepare to face the world's greatest problems. These problems won't be widespread. They will be localized, but they will always be the flip side of the coin. Reflecting how society behaved during the test period with the virus. How they behaved towards themselves, towards their own freedom towards each other, towards the ability to filter information. All of this was a test before the coming Ragnarok, where each one would have to take his own position and pass his own tests according to individual tasks. So do not take scary stories about water scarcity literally, but remember that it can affect a certain category of people on the physical plane. Realizing that you live among people and can share their karma, protect yourself from the need to experience events that are not created for you. You don't need them. So take care of yourself first. Remember, if a person does not take care of himself, the gods will not take care of him, either. We talk about freedom all the time. Freedom is not something that is given, but something that is taken. Take your freedom, and become completely independent. Perceive this problem as another test, not as the meaning or the final form of existence. It is just a test to see if you can live without the system. The gods say, we are now removing the system of government, the institutions you are so accustomed to relying on. The professionals will survive. We made relatives fall out with each other to show how fragile the family ties are. We divided people by the criterion of faith and unbelief and showed that even the top professionals who are supposed to be the best specialists, such as doctors and warriors, can be liars, bribe-takers, and maybe even murderers, which sometimes happens. We have shown you all this. What is your conclusion? Are you free? Can you really be free without all this? What does freedom mean to you? Just take it. 
That's the kind of future we're talking about.